Hello, and thank you for joining me. This is Label Creation for Sites in Civil 3D. My name is Tisha Lance. I'm an EIT and Lead Green Associate with Lloyd Civil and Sports Engineering. I've been working in civil engineering since the early 90s, and I've been working with AutoCAD products since 1988. In this module, we're going to create some really quick labels for parking lots and roadways. In this module, I'm going to first introduce the label styles I'm going to create, and then I'm going to show you how to create the different labels required for each object type. This module will focus on label creation for roadways and parking lots. We're going to create four label styles in this module. Pavement elevation and slopes, top and bottom of curb, valley gutter, and handicapped parking spaces. I'm also going to show you how to create really powerful labels by using expressions. Civil 3D labels are very powerful. They're powerful because there are many options to choose from and there's so many different objects that you can label. Today we're going to cover four simple labels that will take the mystery out of label creation. So let's get started. We're going to create our first label today. So the first thing I want to do is show you where we're going to access all of these edits. So on the tool space in the settings tab, we're going to hit the plus sign next to surface. And we're going to look at the label styles because we're going to create a couple of spot elevations and slope elevations. But the other thing that I mentioned a minute ago was this idea of expressions. And is in here that you, that you find this expression. If you right click on it and hit new, this is the dialog box we're going to be spending a little bit of time in. And if you haven't used this, this is going to change everything for you. It's very, very useful. And it's in each, you can have different expressions for each label type. So the slope had a list of expressions, and then the spot elevations has a list of exp expressions, and you can make them as you go. All right, let's jump right into it. So on the settings tab of the tool space, we're going to right click on one of the out of the box civil 3D labels and click on edit. So now we bring up this label style composer. This label style composer is where you edit all labels, all labels of all styles of all objects. Another module in this course goes through the Label Style Composer in complete detail, front to back. The first thing I do when I create a new label is I give it an, a unique name. So I'm going to change this name to give it something a little different. We're going to call it Spot Elevation. Okay, on the Layout tab, this is where we're going to edit the details of this. I'm going to add a couple of other elements. I just added a block. I'm going to give that block a name. I'm going to call it dot. I want to build this right into the label. If you go down to block and you click on those three dots, it'll open up a window. You can then scroll through all of the standard blocks that are in your template. I have one that's called dot that I use for labels. Now you see when I select this and we go back to the component list up at the top, I now have two components, the elevation and the dot. When I have the component name selected, I then get the options for that component that I can then change the height, the rotation angle, the offset. And if I switch it to surface elevation, I get slightly different property values for me to change. Now I have text height, whereas before I had block height. I want to add one more element to this label, and I'm going to add a line. With the line component selected, I have completely different options to change. I have length and an angle now, so I can set the line to be just long enough to be the length of the text. I know I did that really quickly. Let's see how it looks. So if I open up the Add Labels, which is on the Annotate tab, and we go to Spot Elevation, and I'm going to choose Spot Elevation, the one I just named. I'm going to give it no marker styles because I built the marker right into the label. So we're going to add this label and we're going to have to select the surface that we want to grab the elevation from. So I'm going to pick a point and there's the label. I need to zoom in a little bit just to get a better look at it. And there it is. We've got three elements, a text and a dot and a line. Now that I have the label style built and a label in place on a surface, I want to change it up a little bit. So if I bring up the label properties and we can look at what we can see not to the style itself, but to the label. And this brings up the regular AutoCAD properties. And now you see we have label rotation. So we can have a style set with a zero rotation, but the individual label 
you can change it in the properties dialog box to be whatever rotation you need. Let's say instead of rotating it, I wanted to pull it off to the side like a flag. So I'm going to set this back to zero and then I'm going to grab the upper grip and pull it off to the side.